Hey, what's going on, gents? Mike back here in the Shave Den. Welcome to Long Island Shaving. Thank you very much for tuning in today. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and feel free to comment down below. Great to be back. Uh, been away for a few days, as many of you know. Um, today is the 4th of July, so happy Independence Day. Uh, wanted to get an evening shave in today, so I hope everyone had a great day today at any family gatherings or barbecues or any celebrations. So hopefully you guys had a safe one. Uh, but this set that I'm going to be shaving with today uh, to celebrate Independence Day uh, was my first set that I ever picked up from Strike Gold Shave. It was actually before I even started this channel. My profile before that was under my personal name. Um, and I created the channel while on vacation during the 4th of July uh, vacation upstate New York. And that's how Long Island Shaving was created. And then shortly after, first video uh, appeared around late July and August. Uh, so we're going to be shaving today with Honest Abe uh, from Strike Gold Shave. This was a special limited edition at the time. The inspiration behind this was uh, inspired by Ultra Zest, which is a fragrance uh, that's no longer available. Um, I wasn't familiar with that set prior to uh, that fragrance being eliminated, but uh, my understanding, uh, it was a popular one. And I do understand that now because this is one of my favorite fragrances that I enjoy using throughout the year. And I always, always pull this out uh, for the 4th of July weekend. Um, I did pick up the EDP from this as well. And I also have the matching splash. Uh, and I'll go through the set notes in a second. I uh, have the lather already whipped up in the uh, Razor Company 3D printed bowl. So I got the red, white, and blue, uh, the Razor Company bowl that I picked up not too long ago. Uh, that I'm actually very pleased with. Took it with me on vacation and did a nice job. And for razor, I'm going to be using the American Liberty uh, razor, which was a collaboration between Charcoal Goods and West Coast Shaving, uh, CNC machine, full stainless steel uh, razor. Uh, you guys may have seen this, but it's got the uh, American flag stars and stripes right on the handle. So really cool looking uh, razor. Uh, pretty mild, uh, not an aggressive razor, mild, but yet efficient, but I'll get through the specs on that in a second. Uh, so again, already have the lather whipped up. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into today's shave. So let me wet the face. Hope everyone's doing well. It is good to be back. Uh, just got out of the shower a little while ago and figured, you know what, let me just get a shave in now and uh, go with a set that I actually used last year for the 4th of July. So this was the set that I actually took with me. And I uh, actually got a lot of compliments on it while I was away because I also had the EDP, which is very strong. I remember at the time, and I'm not sure if it's still available or if this set is still available, but uh, Murphy and McNeil's had this set for quite some time. Uh, so I jumped on it because I heard a lot of great things about it. Um, honestly, I think I saw a YouTube video featuring this set and uh, I knew I had to have it based on the description. Um, but it is one of my absolute favorites from, uh, from Frank. I'm actually representing today, also wearing my Strike Gold Shave shirt. So I've got the shirt going. But anyway, so that's it, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Just going to get a quick uh, two-pass shave in here because uh, I'm going to get ready to uh, watch the fireworks, as many of you, I'm sure, are. Currently, it was good to get away. Uh, blade of choice that I'm using in this is a Persona Comfort Coat uh, is what's in the uh, Charcoal Goods Razor. So quickly, just the specs on this American Liberty uh, CNC machine stainless steel razor um, was inspired and created by Charcoal Goods in collaboration with West Coast Shaving. Uh, the blade gap on this is 1.5 millimeter, but, so it's mild, but yet very efficient. Um, 112 grams is the weight, and the length of this handle is 89 millimeter handle. Um, as far as I know, this is still available at West Coast Shaving, um, but I got this actually for a deal uh, during the holidays. So uh, I picked it up because it did have the Stars and Stripes. 
and I heard it was a pretty good shaver. So I got about uh, two days worth of growth here. So I haven't shaved in the last two days. It's a good, I would say, everyday razor. It is kind of on the, on the mild side. I would say in comparison, it's probably a, a step up on the efficiency on the Overlander. So still that same smoothness, but I would say I would say it's a little bit of a step up. A little more than the uh, the Rockwell 6C on the five plate, because that seems to be a common plate that many of you shave with. Just to give you an idea. Now on this soap, um, fresh notes of tangerine, uh, blood orange over a rich accord of patchouli, coffee, spices, vanilla, with hints of ginger and mint that come out on the dry down, more so on the splash. Um, but it's very you know, fresh and mildly sweet, in my opinion. Um, it's a crowd pleaser. No question this is a crowd pleaser. I did get a lot of compliments on this. Uh, when I was on vacation last year. Um, great projection, great depth, um, and long-lasting. That, if you do have the EDP, for those of you that do have this set, that EDP lasts a very long time. I think I made the mistake, uh, for those of you that do have it and you're familiar with it, spraying about four or so times. I think two times is is enough. Otherwise, you'll choke out the people around you. <laughs> I hope that uh, Frank does bring this back eventually. I think it's that good. I think it's something that definitely should be considered to be brought back maybe for the 4th of July next year. It's good to see that Frank has uh, made a comeback. Um, I do apologize. I know a few of you had asked me because I had mentioned that uh, um, his new release uh, should be coming to me. Unfortunately, it's been a little delayed. Plus, I went on vacation, so uh, my mail was on hold. Uh, so right now, as you guys know, they uh, Frank recently released The Circus, which is a collaboration with Shave Dad. Which, by the way, guys, it's still available at Pasture's Pharmacy if you're interested. So because my mail has been held, um, and I think it's held through Friday, tomorrow, I'm going to get my packages on Saturday. So I plan on putting up my review of Circus probably maybe over the weekend. Kind of really looking forward to that. It's my understanding. It smells pretty much just like cotton candy. Definitely, I'm sure, a fun fragrance to use. I mean, who doesn't want to smell like cotton candy once in a while, right? <laughs> but no question, I'm sure it's going to be a fun one. All right, let me just get a second pass in here real quick. So, yeah, good to see Frank back. Um, I know he's going to be ramping up, releasing some uh, new collaborations and uh, new sets are going to be coming throughout the year, so... It's always good to see. Uh, that, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. I had uh, tested not a new base, but he made some improvements to his current base uh, that I was very fortunate enough to test out. And uh, I will tell you, I was very pleased. I've always been pleased with uh, the base from uh, by Frank. But there's nothing wrong with adding more slickness and uh, enhancing it whenever possible, right? So, I mean, look at this base here. It's doing a fantastic job for what it is. And I've had this for over a year now. I would say the scent strength on this um, is up there. I would say it's about a 6, 7 out of 10 on the scent strength. I'm gonna do this pass against the grain. But a few of you have asked me about this razor. I did shave with it. It's been a while. 
the last time I did shave with a few of you were uh, somewhat interested. I think some of you have picked it up, so I am pleased with it. It's not one of the best razors I have in the den, but it is very smooth, very efficient. It's a mild shaver. I did take it with me on vacation. Um, and even though it does a good job, I kind of, I like to have a little bit of a bite. Um, I kind of been, when I was using this on vacation, it's kind of wishing I took my carbon, to be honest with you, but I don't want to take expensive razors with me when I go away. But it did a good job. But I like getting those really close shaves, you know. I don't know about you guys, like where I am now, uh, when you're at the hotel and the lighting is always very good in the hotel bathroom. You can see how close uh, these razors shave when you have really good lighting. The lighting here isn't as half as good as it is in the hotel. That's it, guys. I'm just checking here. Um, kind of touched on pretty much everything uh, with regards to the fragrance and the razor. I'm going to check uh, after this video if it, if any of these products under Honest Abe is still available at Murphy McNeil's. I know they had a pretty decent inventory. I also think that there was a restock, if I'm not mistaken, at the... Um, The wet shaving store. So I'm not sure if there's still any there. But definitely worth the consideration if it is still out there. And if it is, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can pick it up if you are interested in these scent notes. I definitely get the blood orange. really stands out in this. You do pick up the coffee. The coffee note really pops in this as well. Um, get the sweetness of the vanilla. The patchouli is there. Uh, but the tangerine and blood orange are the stars of the show, as far as I'm concerned. With this fragrance, it's a perfect summer fragrance, in my opinion. Uh, it's perfect around the summertime. Let's do a quick rinse. All right. Not bad, 13 minutes in. I'm going to try to keep this under 15 minutes. All right, got the uh, matching splash of Honest Abe here. Shake it up. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, today is uh, Thursday, Independence Day, 4th of July. Tomorrow, I think my mail is still held to tomorrow. Oh my God, this is so good stuff. Um, and then Saturday, I should get my package. I actually have a couple packages on the way. So I may do a mail call uh, opening show some of the stuff that I picked up recently. Um, and then maybe Sunday or Monday, I will actually do the shave uh, of the circus, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and again, for those of you that may still be interested, again, it was sold out. It's one of the fastest sellouts in uh, Strike Gold Shave's history. Sold out very quickly, uh, but Pasture's Pharmacy does still have some inventory available. Um, so definitely take a look if you are interested in picking that set up. But uh, I've been hearing a lot of great things for those of you that have received it so far but again i do apologize i went away got lost in the mail it's being held so i'll get it up there soon but uh i know you guys are gonna really enjoy it and uh it is from what i hear it's a really fun one with that guys just under 15 minutes thank you very much for tuning in today good to see everybody and uh, a lot more reviews coming out coming my way i got a lot of things in the works uh some interesting you know plans that i'm kind of working with people on so uh, be on the lookout and uh, stay posted. All right. Have a good one. Take care now. Bye-bye.